one of your goals in 2024 is to travel a lot more let me show you a way that i've been able to travel all across europe affordably and while i'm young hi my name is mina i'm 23 years old and i've traveled eight countries with ef ultimate Break. so i'm gonna give you my whole experience and i'm gonna give you my honest thoughts about the company so i have a lot of notes on my ipad because i've been on four trips with them three ultimate break ones and i want to give you my honest opinion and just break it down so you know what to expect if you were to go because i honestly think it's the best way to travel affordably while you're young today the topics we're going to be talking about are the pros and cons of ef my favorite parts what you should expect things i wish i knew before and then tips i wish i knew before i traveled abroad so let's dive in of what trips i've been on and what are my thoughts about ef ultimate break so what is ef ultimate break so ef is a tour company that basically takes care of everything and it is zero stress for you so basically they book the hotels local tour guides the museums activities like you're doing breakfasts a farewell and welcome dinner like they'll also take care of your airfare and that includes your transportation there and back they also have 24-hour support and if it were to happen you're able to just contact support and they will help you with everything basically what ef covers they have everything exactly on the website I'll insert an image right here exactly what they cover i think it's such a great deal you literally don't have to stress about anything they take care of literally everything so i'm gonna be explaining the trips that i personally have been on so ultimate break i've been on three and the ones i've been on are italy and the greek islands it was 15 days and basically we went to florence rome athens santorini and Paris. second one that i went to is spain and portugal getaway seven days and i went to lisbon madrid and barcelona the latest one i went on was actually the plus but it was the greek islands so i went to athens santorini paros and mykonos so you might be wondering what are the pros of booking with ef tours so honestly for me it was so stress-free and i am a planner but having someone else plan it was just so worth it to me so everything is planned and there's a tour director with you at all times so if there's a situation you need help there will be someone to help you and then also one thing that i really love is that they offer payment plans so basically it's zero interest and you could book it up to like two years in advance so your payments could be a lot lower so you basically put a down payment and then they break it up in like weekly bi-weekly or monthly payments i did it once when i was in high school and literally it was the best way because i was able to work and not fork out of pocket so much because you get to break it up however you like so like i said there's one tour guide with you at all times and i honestly love that because you get to build a personal connection with them but also you know that they're going to take you to the best spots because most of them are from wherever you're going or have traveled there multiple times so they have hookups with like reservations and excursions like everything you could think of they will be knowledgeable about it and i love how knowledgeable all the tour directors I've ever had were. My boyfriend, somewhere that I ate my first trip because it was so, so good. They were booked out for months. Like, I did not get reservations. And on the second trip, our freaking tour guide was able to get us reservations because she knew the owner to just get in. And it's so nice because you get to eat at the best spots, like amazing views. And I'll answer some images and videos of like the spots I ate at, but it's just like so amazing because you don't really have to worry about anything like even at the clubs like when we went out they knew like the club owners or like promoters or whatever so like oh there's this many of us what can you do how much do you charge like okay it'd be twenty dollars for a table some alcohol it'd be like pop off like i it was just amazing 10 out of 10 love that part. and they just take such good care of you like i literally love them and also ef has a local tour guide so you have a main tour guide but every city you go to you have a walking tour and there's someone from that actual city that gives you a whole lesson i guess not really like lesson lesson but they just show you around and talk about like the architecture and stuff because ef like EF stands for education so you are gonna learn but personally i don't think it was boring but it's an hour tour mostly and you could leave at any time it's optional so you get to do whatever you like it was just so nice because i didn't have to plan anything like that or book someone to give me information about that and i honestly didn't think it was boring at all i honestly enjoyed it learning about other cultures where things mean over there it's just honestly so beautiful i love that part of the whole trip so accommodations are included and i really like this because you don't have to worry about oh a hotel that's near the city or like whatever because they have all your transportation to everything around is included as well except if you want to go to a boat ride that's 30 minutes but you're gonna have to pay for that but if it's included in 
they already itinerary everything's included and one time me and my boyfriend literally were late to one of the things and we had to pay 80 euros which is almost 90 dollars just to go there and it, transportation metro passes everything like that is included which is insane because you're able to use the metro and it gives you a certain amount of numbers if not you're able to reload it which is so nice depending on which ef trip you book you could book it without flights or with flights so ef could take care of your flight or you could book the flights on your own so if you book the flights by yourself flight gets canceled you're going to have to take care of it you're going to have to find a new returning flight and everything if is not going to anything like that for you but if you book it through ef there you and your flight is canceled or something they will take care of it they'll get you on a new flight you won't have to pay for anything and it's honestly so nice because last year when i went there was an airstrike and my flight got canceled and i was crying like 24 hours before i was supposed to leave i was like i didn't want to go home not like actually but how am i supposed to get home if my flight was canceled i just called them they have a 24-hour service so i just called them and it was like hey my flight's canceled um can i get a new flight back home and they're like of course give us a, like an hour or so we'll get you a new flight and send you it all over i was like perfect they literally got me on a flight and everything it was just so nice and then they even include all the transportation so they have shuttles come for you and pick you up from the airport so you don't have to worry about that because when i had to do that literally it was so stressful like booking in another country i don't know it was just so crazy and it's so nice because when they take care of it they're already waiting for you and like they do all your luggage it's just 10 10 recommend unless you get like a great deal on your flights so leading into some of the cons i will say one more pro is that the plus had amazing hotels and i honestly don't mind staying at hostels or hotels because i feel like you're not really in your room too much in europe and if you are you're not doing europe right but like i understand why you would want a nice hotel so when me and my boyfriend went we did the plus and we had hotels the whole 11 days and it was so nice and i would definitely do that again but it was kind of more like a vacation vibe and I like that, but all the other times I went with my girlies and I don't mind sharing a room with them at the hostels. It depends on your personal preference. Okay, that one of the cons would be is if you don't know what to expect in hostels, then you might not like it. I'll insert some videos and stuff of some hostels I stayed at. Cons was I had literally six girls in one room in a hostel and our hostel was really big so it wasn't that big of a deal but one time it was really small and it sucked but also we were only there when we slept so it wasn't that bad just getting ready we had to like plan it like okay really you're going first i honestly still enjoyed the experience because all the people i went with i was really close with but i didn't know them at a time like we just became friends it's so easy to all share one room together so i didn't mind it's just your personal preference so that might be a con for some people a con i would say is the breakfast so i honestly am such a huge breakfast person and in the united states you know we have eggs and stuff like that mm, in europe they don't do that they say nope girl you're having yogurt and bread and coffee so that's all they really eat and i'm not used to that i'm used to having a huge breakfast so that's one con i would say but that's not really with ef favorite part of ef ultimate break was definitely the people the amount of friends you meet is literally insane and i literally am still so close to friends that i've met on the trip and i've been on three so i've met a whole bunch of groups of people and i just love them and it's crazy because two of them i went solo the last one i went with my boyfriend and we still met so many people together there was a lot of couples on that trip so it was really fun literally the first time i went i was so nervous to travel across the country alone because i didn't know what to expect but honestly i was like okay we're just gonna put ourselves out there like whatever and it was so fun i literally made so many friends and we were like this the whole trip it was 15 days so fun you're making great memories with these people and you will literally remember these people and memories for the rest of your life it is literally the best thing i've ever done and i love traveling to europe with you because of people like the people just make the trips but it's crazy because we just all traveled alone and now we're just friends and i could call them right now and be like hey girly what's up and they'll just answer and we'll just like, you just really create beautiful memories with these people and they just stay your friends for ever i love it what to expect on this trip i would say the best trip of your life and i'm not even kidding <laughs> literally it's so amazing i love ef i literally will go every summer i'm able to just because i have the trip of my life like you have no worries you're just living your life it's just the funnest thing and i don't know if you guys have traveled before but that feeling is just amazing anyways i would say 70 to 100 dollars is enough 
every day you're there additional because I mean you're gonna pay for lunch and dinner because those are not included just breakfast so I mean depending on how nice of dinner you want to go or lunch you want to go depends on how much you should bring and then on top of that how many souvenirs you'd like to bring back but I would just take that all into consideration and then also it depends what additional add-ons you'd like to do say you want to go rent some jet skis you know factor all that but I would say 70 to 100 dollars a day would be perfect another thing i wish i knew before is a lot of places take credit card and apple pay now the first trip i did they really didn't but now like when i went to greece this summer everywhere took it so i would honestly rack up my points on my travel credit card and just pay for everything there instead of having to carry a lot of cash on you because also there are pickpocketers so you just have to be careful with that and having cash obviously they're trying to steal that versus a credit card if you lose it you're able to call but also have like multiple just in case you lose one but i would recommend paying with a credit card racking up those points and earning cash back things i wish i knew before some of them are packing hacks so packing cubes will be your best friend you definitely need that and i would recommend packing them in outfits per day so it's easy for you to just grab what you're wearing every day so you don't spend as much time getting ready and also bring a scale because with all your souvenirs and stuff your luggage is going to weigh a lot so make sure you bring an electronic one so you're able to weigh your suitcase to know how much it is before you fly back home I think I wish I knew before because I thought it was a little weird is there's no public restrooms in Europe it's really rare for public bathrooms to be accessible for people they're mostly in restaurants and stuff so you have to buy things there but if there is a public bathroom you're going to have to pay for it and they're not the nicest so be prepared bring wipes whatever you need but you're going to need to pay for public bathroom so whenever you go out to lunch or something make sure to use a bathroom and stuff while you can because it's going to be hard to find it, especially in Italy. That's what I found. Tips I found while traveling. Going to Greece and you happen to be in Athens, buy everything in Athens. They have Santorini, Mykonos, Paro stuff in Athens and it is literally so much cheaper. So me and my boyfriend really wanted these lighters. They're like puffy ones and we thought they were so cool. And Santorini and we even got one in Athens that said Santorini. He has it at his house, but these were $11.00. 7 or $11, I can't remember, but that's a lot for the slider, so we're like, uh, but we went to Athens, they were $3, and they even gave us a deal because we bought so many, so it is so worth it just to get everything in Athens, like one-stop shop, like, go to Athens and just grab everything for all the islands you're going to, and you don't have to worry about no souvenirs or anything. Travel tip is to maybe buy a snack before, the night before, while your travel day, because on the travel days, you might not have a lot of time to eat, so it's always nice to have snacks in your bag. If not, just bring them from the United States over to Europe so you have at least some snacks just in case on your busy days you're able to eat a little bit. Last tip I have if you are looking to travel with EF is to use my code. I'll put it right here. But basically you get $100 off your booking. That's all I have for today. If you guys would like me to go in depth more about my individual trips that I've taken, I would love to do it. I have a lot of footage and photos I would love to share with you guys. I hope in 2024 you guys are able to travel to your dream vacation spot and this allows you to travel more affordably don't forget to use my code and don't forget to like and subscribe bye